Hey guys, it's Monica. Thank you so much for coming back and joining me. As I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to share with you some empties. Now, I haven't gone through a whole lot of stuff. It takes me uh, a bit of time to work my way through some products in general. And sometimes it, it's like I have things for over a year or longer. This is, and I'm going to mention this first because out of all of the shampoos that I use or I keep using and I keep trying, this is one of my favorites. So this, I've mentioned it before, I, um, this is Color Lover. Uh, I'll link it be below. I, you can get this off of Amazon. I get it from my hairdresser usually and I usually buy the big thing. And it lasts me probably two years, maybe even three years, sometimes lasts me a good long time. So I buy the shampoo and the conditioner because I can't see that well in the shower without glasses. I usually put an S or a C in, um, you know, that marker, that black marker, a uh, Sharpie, so that I can see what I'm grabbing. So love this stuff. Repeat buying. I think, I think I've, pro I don't know. I think I've probably been using that for... 20 years you know consistently but like I say I do use other products in between and try different shampoos and stuff like that especially when I'm reviewing products but I just keep going back to that one over and over again along with the conditioner which I still have some left so it's not going to be my empties but definitely a repeat purchase for me I love this stuff color lover the next thing I'm going to talk about and this one I've talked about an awful lot um, this is Sweet Spot. Now, I love, I love using this. I, I just love having something very gentle in my intimate parts, so to speak. And I love the way this has a very gentle smell. It has, it just has a really nice, nice feeling to it. So out of all of the intimate washes, so to speak, and I've bought some in the store and I've tried Summer's Eve and, you know, a number of other different products. I keep going back to this one. I tend to order it off of Amazon, although the last time I bought it, I think I bought it in Ulta. So, and I happen to love the Vanilla Blossom. I think Target also has this, but this is a repeat, repeat, repeat purchase for me. Been using it for a number of years now, and I, I just love it. I don't want to use a regular scented body wash on my intimate parts, so that works out absolutely perfect these I go through like crazy and these are the L'Oreal magic root cover-up you've heard me mention these I've shown these a number of times so whenever they're on sale I definitely will grab some I have a couple of different shades I have medium blonde and then I have a darker blonde you know and then I have a lighter blonde and then I have a brunette so I tend to because I tend to not, when I have my bio hair, right, my natural hair, without a wig, without a topper or anything, I tend to like it to look a little bit blonder. And I have a mixture of my, a little gray that I'm trying to cover up, and I'm not trying to go gray at all, don't get me wrong, but I also don't run to the hairdressers every three to four weeks. So I need something to cover up the gray when it pops through or when the color wash washes out, so to speak. So I spray some of this on my bio hair and depending on how dark my hair is at the time, which will tell which one I use. I tend to keep my roots darker. So those are, of course, the spots that you see the gray first. So I love this stuff. Repeat purchase, L'Oreal. I think you can get it most anywhere. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got probably in Walmart, um, Amazon, you name it. This particular product, I will be sure to link it, but this is Eva Naturals. Now, this you can't find it, it just anywhere. I've only been able to find it either from them direct or from, the, from Amazon. I'm not too sure where I first heard of this one, but I want to say it was probably Marlene Fab and Glam quite a while ago talked about this eye gel and I bought it this is my second yeah, I think my second time that I've purchased this I love this eye gel it is just enough moisture for me under my eyes 
I put this on even after I've had makeup on at times. Because the older we get, right, especially if you're wearing, and I don't wear concealer under my eyes, but especially if you're wearing concealer or bring your foundation up to under your eyes, as soon as you smile, you look like you've got a road map, you know, crinkles all over the place. So this I kind of dab on and it gives me that surge of moisture. So I wear this above makeup, below makeup, naked skin. I, I really like this a lot. I have a lot of eye creams. Um, but this this one I have repurchased and will repurchase again. I just really like how it feels on me. Now, I'm still very close to not being able to put, oh, I still can't put any makeup on my scar area from my surgery. So I make sure when I put that on that I dab it on under my eyes for that surge of moisture and I avoid my scar area. A couple of fails. These three have been, these, and I was very, very disappointed. They're almost like brand new. Um, Essence Eyebrow Pencil, two of them, and I, you know, a lot of people have talked about these and how nice they were. The only thing I like about it is the little brush. I hate the pencil. As you can see, it's hardly used. I can hardly get any color payoff, and it's, if I can't, if I have to scrape down too hard to use something like this and tuck and pull up my eyebrows, I'm not going to use it. So I bought two colors, total fail for me. And it's a real bummer because I really like Essence a lot. Another thing that was a bummer is I got this clear eyebrow and actually lash, lash um, treatment mascara, but clear from e.l.f. And for me, this did nothing. You can see I've used this. You go through the product really quick, first of all, which is a good thing that's so reasonably priced because you do go through it really quick. But it did nothing for me. I didn't feel it did a darn thing. So to me, it was just a total waste. I would not rebuy it, just like I would not buy these Essence pencils. If you like these products, awesome. But for me, they were they were just a total, a total fail. And I love Essence, right? So Essence uh, Lash Princess. I just bought two more. Still my favorite drugstore mascara. My high-end mascara would be the It's Superhero, but I have not purchased the It's Superhero in quite a while. I've been basically using Essence all the time. You just cannot beat the price. And at my age, with everything that's happening in the economy and penny pinching and looking at my 401k, take a total nosedive and thinking about wanting to retire, work part-time and looking at the 401k, I am really assessing what I'm spending my money on. And if a drugstore product does it just as well as my high end, guess what? I can buy six of these probably for one or the other. So complete repurchase over and over again essence lash princess the purple one that's been my favorite all along super goop i hope it comes soon because i just did an order i just reordered super goop unseen sunscreen sheila simply sheila turned me on to this the ingredients are awesome they're really clean ingredients and it really it's probably Hands down, so far, the number one favorite sunscreen I have for my naked skin. My makeup goes on beautifully. It's almost like a primer. It actually feels that sort of primerish when you put it on. But my makeup feels beautiful over it. So on my scar today, I have my scar away, and then I have Super Goop on that. And nothing else on top of my scar. And the rest of my face, Super Goop, let it dry, makeup. And then sometimes I go back over with my Color Science Mineral, the brush on, but I always touch my sunblock up. And because of the, um, the skin issues that I've had in the Mohs surgery, I don't go outside now without a hat. It's either I'm getting a broad, strim, uh, broad, bleh, broad brim visor, we got a few of those, or I have a hat. And it's really important, especially, I guess, after surgery like this, that you don't get any sun exposure because you could darken the scar or that area and then it won't match the rest of your skin ever. So anyway, super goop. Love this. 40 SPF. I just ordered my replacement. Hopefully it'll come in soon. If not, I do have a bunch of sunscreen I can use. Um, Refresh Digital PF. These are my regular eye drops, not my prescription eye drops. I do have re, um, 
Tristesa the, for the tears to the dry eye, but the refresh is what I use in between. So I use the Restacia once in the morning, once at night, and then the refresh a couple of times during the day and, you know, on this eye just to be able to manage it. And here we are, July, and I have not had a bout of dry eye either since December or the beginning of January. I can't remember when it was, was my last dry eye. And I've been religiously using it. Now that, the prescription is pretty expensive. So I, um, you know, I don't know. You know, I'm afraid to stop using it because I think it'll come right back. So I'm going to have, you know how your insurance, you get into that donut area where you all of a sudden have to start all over again. Those of you that know with insurance and, and met, you know, drug plans and all that. So while I've met my deductibles, I'm going to place another um, reorder of my prescription eye drops, even though I'm not out yet. I'm just going to place it, have them, so I can keep them. I'm not too sure if I talked about this or not. This is hers, and it is a hair regrowth treatment system. What I liked about this is that this is 5%. It's foam, aerosol foam, um, minoxidil. I know I'm probably saying that wrong. For my bio hair, for my thinning spots, I use this once a day. So I really like this. It's pricey. It's more pricey than the Equate version of the Rogaine that I was buying. And the Equate version of the Rogaine, unless you bought the men's version, did not have the 5%. The 5% is pretty strong. And I have no reaction from it, so I'm okay with it. But because I really liked it, I wanted to try something else. And so I bought this. And this is the, um, this I got from Reliable RX. And this is Hair For You 5%. So I haven't, st I haven't opened it yet because I, I just, they just arrived this week uh, along with some other things that I bought from Reliable RX. It takes forever for shipments to come, forever. This, this probably has taken me two months to get this. And typically Reliable RX is about three to four weeks, but two months. So I just got this. I have not started to use it because I have just a tiny bit of the hers left. Every time I've gone into Walmart or whatever, I've not been able to see this. I did buy this in Walmart originally. So if you're using a hair regrowth and something that you know has been sort of around forever, proven, etc., um, of course, there are side effects, there are issues with it, why people don't like using it all the time, but this is the type of thing, if you use minoxidil, you need to stay consistent with it. You can't just use it for three months and then stop. So um, I haven't been able to see this in Walmart since the first time I got it in Walmart. So I thought, okay, for the same money, I'll order this. And um, I don't know. We'll see, but it's 5% as well. So we will see how that works. So that's pretty well my empties. Oh, the other thing, I think I mentioned this. I got my little, my little, um, I call these my, my, uh, they're sort of like, if you have like um, shower caps for your hair, you know, so you don't get your hair wet. So I call these shower caps for your ears. And because of my ear surgery, and even before my ear surgery, because I was so prone to having ear aches all the time, I had bought these shower caps. Now, I reuse them. So it takes me forever to go through. I mean, I think I had my first box of these ear shower caps that I bought off of Amazon. I think I probably bought it about 10 years ago. Seriously, right? Sometime after I had my eardrum thing. And... I, there, there's like hundreds of them in a box, and so you can reuse them. I just, after I take my shower, I take them off, I, you know, like shake them dry, and then I hook them on the back of like a little towel thing that I have in the bathroom, and they dry up, and then I reuse them. So until they're actually broken, there's, you know, it take, I, one of these, I can probably take three or, four shower, three or four weeks of showers in them. But anyways, I just ordered another batch. I just got them in, so I was really excited about that. I know it sounds really weird to have ear shower caps, but they work for me. Now, I still put a little bit of a cotton ball in my ear and then put this over, and it, it works for me. It keeps the water out. It keeps my ear dry. When I take it off and I take the cotton ball out or whatever I put in there, I don't jam it in there. Just put it on the top part. 
oftentimes it's damp. So, you know, you get some condensation anyways. Um, and then I usually blow dry my ear. Blow dry my ear with a blow dryer. So, yeah, so that's my empties. I, um, I have no idea how long this video is, is going to be, but thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for watching my empties. I truly appreciate every single one of you. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or week. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.